You know, Halloween is the one day each year where we can transform into whatever we want to be. So this is such a cool story. <laughs> one third grader in Folkston, Georgia, had planned to dress up as the Beast for weeks. He'd been planning this. All he needed, though, was his bell. Well, he found her. His <laughs> first dance with his beauty is spreading across the Internet tonight. Here's First Coast News reporter Juliette Dreyer with the story. It may not be the grandest ballroom, but this hallway in Folkestone Elementary School is the backdrop for our fairy tale. She's beautiful. Nine-year-old Jared Cook could only think of one woman worthy of being the beauty to his beast. We've been together since he was five. His longtime teacher, Melissa Allen. He walks down the hall greeting you. you know, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Good to see you. Jared has Williams syndrome, a rare genetic disorder associated with some learning disability and cardiac problems, among other things. Our story begins about a month ago when Jared's blood pressure soared to dangerously high levels. To distract him, Allen asked about his Halloween costume. And then he goes, oh, Miss Allen, I got the best idea. And I said, what's that? He goes, you could be my bell. Will you be my bell for Halloween? Well, a handsome man asks you on a date, you say yes. <laughs> Jared recalls first laying eyes on his beauty. It felt like my heart was like starting to cry because it was like amazing and wonderful about this. Also crying, Jared's mother, Melissa Hodges. When they started dancing, that was the moment that just brought it full circle. And I was in tears the entire time that I was videotaping that. Hodges uploaded the video to Facebook, where it continues to spread. So you practiced? Yes, a lot. Allen says she never considered saying no to Jared's request. You're going to have to give me a second. <laughs> because of love. Love makes a teacher go above and beyond. If you don't teach from the heart, you're not going to get the same results. After all, love is the only force that could save the beast. So just imagine what else it can do. Are you going to remember this forever? Yes. In Folkestone, Juliet Dreyer and Jared Cook. First Coast News on your side. <laughs> Oh, good job, Jared. Oh, good wow. job. You know, all the depressing news we have sometimes, it's always great to have stories like those that just remind you what this life is all about. And I love that. Did you practice? Right. Oh, with such confidence. Yes. You know, <laughs> yes, he did. Good stuff. So